fight. Wasn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah. It's amazing they got paid so much money for that. To be called on board the United Airlines flight, the 57-year-old said he was in pain and felt dizzy and nauseous. In the space of just six months, Mike Tyson has had another collapse after his penalty for allegedly staging a fight between home and Jake Paul on Netflix was read out. <laughs> You see, what people didn't know is that Mike Tyson had to go to court and Jake Paul and and Netflix. People don't know this stuff. You know what I'm trying to say? And Joe Rogan, a fan and friend of Iron Mike Tyson, isn't liking the constant health challenges Iron Mike Tyson has been made to face. 25 million and 40 million? I think 20 and 40. Yeah, I think that's what I'd heard. You know, which I'm, I'm happy Mike got the money, and I'm happy that he didn't get hurt. That was my fear that it was going to be a real fight, and he was going to get You've hurt. You've known him for a long time. While he has been lenient about the fight and every other thing, this didn't seem to sit so well with him. Seeing that things are becoming really complicated for Tyson, before the fight, Mike Tyson faced some health challenges. During the fight, he also complained of a biting fixation. In fact, he almost tripped and fell during his walkout. And then, ever since the fight ended, it's been from one controversy to another. Mike Tyson, Jake Paul, and Netflix found themselves in court after a man sued them all, first for Netflix failing to deliver the fight as expected, and then for the fighters staging their fight against each other. This led to a court order that each of the accused bodies cut out a certain percentage of their purse to compensate the fight fans for such a disheartening experience. In breaking news, streaming giant Netflix is being issued a class action in relation to the Mike Tyson and Jake Paul fight. TMZ reports the lawsuit is over streaming issues. This was most displeasing to Mike Tyson, who took the fight in the first place to secure his finances and avoid any future bankruptcy or brokenness. And coupled with other health challenges he's been having, the boxing legend collapsed and was rushed to the hospital where he's been receiving medical care. UFC color commentator Rogan discussed the whole incident on the latest edition of his Joe Rogan Experience podcast with guest Josh Brolin. He's a, like, larger-than-life figure of my childhood. Truly, and me When too. I was a kid, when he was a champ, it was like, people don't understand what a champ he was. Yeah. Like, he, was a, he wasn't just the heavyweight champ of the world. Brolin said, perhaps tongue-in-cheek, that he thought the fight was amazing before he began laughing. And Rogan went in to discuss the finances involved in the well-publicized fight. Rogan said he heard the fighters get paid $20 million and $40 million, though he did not clarify which fighter he believed got paid what. And Rogan revealed he was happy to see that Tyson, who is approaching the age of 60, did not get hurt during the bout and emerged from the ring unscathed after fighting a man who he is 30 years older than, admitting it had been a fear of him ahead of the fight. He was an executioner. Like you, True. every fight was just a matter of how long was it going to last. I don't which fight it was that I went to go see a couple of fights, and I actually went to go see Julio Cesar Chavez fight. He said, it's amazing they got paid so much money for that. I think $20 million and $40 million, that's what I heard. I'm happy that Mike got the money, and I'm happy that he didn't get hurt. That was my fear that it was a real fight, and he's going to get hurt. However... Now that what Joe Rogan feared the most is happening, he said, Watch the guy's face, and I watched that confidence bleed from his face. Yeah. Instantaneously. Yeah. He had absolutely lost the fight long before Mike had ever gotten in the ring. I hope it doesn't get worse. He's been hurt, but if managed well, he'll be fine. I don't know why he's being sued. Whether staged or not, a 58-year-old walking into the ring and pulling such a huge crowd should be celebrated. Netflix is facing a class action lawsuit from a Florida subscriber left unhappy by the unwatchable live stream of the Jake Paul and Mike Tyson boxing match. Ronald Denton from Hillsborough County filed the lawsuit on Monday in the Florida State Court seeking unspecified damages on behalf of consumers who were affected by the constant technical issues during the stream. Streaming issues and a breach of contract. Thousands of viewers claim they had trouble watching the fight. Netflix is yet to comment. The match ended. I've got something I want to say about this. Since it's staged and people actually went out and betted, right? Shouldn't they get a refund because it was fake? It wasn't a real fight. 
They betted to see a real fight and a winner outcome. Well, they never got that. It was more of a setup. It was obviously going in favour of Jake Paul. You understand? Because we could see what was happening, holding back on punches and stuff. But the winner was Jake Paul. Why was that? It obviously was agreed to come that way, right? So it was already decided to be Jake Paul. With YouTuber Paul, 27, knocking out heavyweight boxing legend Tyson, 58, with a score of 80, 72, 79, 73, 79, 73. The bout of eight two-minute rounds was Tyson's first professional contest since the boxer retired in 2005, though he did box Roy Jones Jr. in an exhibition match in 2020. It was billed as one of the biggest and most controversial fights of all time, but several subscribers took to social media to complain about buffering issues on Netflix, which streamed it. Two-minute rounds, Tyson's wanting to see more action. Boboto, Evander Holyfield, you get the gist. And everybody was saying oh, oh, Benton's suit alleges breach of contract by Netflix, as well as violations of Florida state laws around deceptive trade practices and consumer protection. The streaming giant, it alleges, was woefully ill-prepared to broadcast the match. What they saw was the baddest streaming on the planet, the lawsuit says, according to USA Today. Boxing fans along with the average Americans wanting to see a legend in what would most likely be his last fight, were faced with legendary problems, including no access, streaming glitches, and buffering issues, it adds. Jab right there that really knocked Jake back. But they would see she's a uh, right here left so I can yeah, see right hand there. grazes. To the returning legend. Nice body shot, Paul, 12 of 53, 20. Netflix customers experience massive streaming issues and should have known better because it has happened before. Instead of providing the programming its viewers pay for every month, Netflix was completely unprepared and unable to fix the issues. Sylvester Stallone is unhappy with Mike Tyson. Really, and he was a good friend with Tyson, and he's unhappy with him bad, you know, because of the whole fight. You understand it being rigged the way it was. The commentary team for the match was also plagued by audio problems as Evander Holyfield appeared unable to hear presenter Kate Abdo through his earpiece. Jerry Jones had to borrow Michael Irvin's microphone after he broke it. In that fight with the mouthpiece. Right there and knock Mike off balance two times. And Mike but for the Amanda Serrano versus Katie Taylor fight, the whole night would have been a flop. It was as disappointing and terrible as you can imagine. It's quite challenging.